Hi, and welcome to Top Dog Tips YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us today. We're gonna to be talking about the six recipes of homemade dog ear cleaners. Before we begin, please be sure to subscribe and like our video, as well as subscribe to our website, topdogtips.com. If you click the link in the description below to subscribe to the website, you will receive a free ebook on 25 vet recommended homemade dog food recipes. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. So for some dogs, one of the most important parts of grooming is cleaning their ears as it reduces the chance of ear infections and removes excess wax buildup. You can use over-the-counter ear cleaners or save money and make your very own homemade dog ear cleaner. We're going to be discussing the causes and symptoms of ear infections and some of my favorite homemade dog ear cleaner recipes that are natural and safe for dogs. So some of the common causes of dog ear infections or dog ear problems. Number one, excessive ear cleaning. Biologically, earwax serves as a natural defense against dust and any foreign particles potentially coming in inside the ear. Over cleaning the ears could expose the dog's ear to anything that may irritate it. As a consequence, itchiness and potential infections may occur. Number two, infection due to contact with a foreign object or physical trauma. There's a high chance that your dog may develop an ear infection when a harmful object makes contact with their ears. If your dog scrapes a part of their ear with any sharp rusting objects or environmental allergens, make sure to take them to the veterinarian immediately. It's also likely that your dog could develop ear infections when they've recently experience physical trauma. One's a good example is when they are hit by a heavy object, e.g. a basketball near their ears or by their ears, resulting in deep wounds or concussions. Number three is allergies. Like humans, dogs can develop specific allergies from many different allergens. Once they do, their body usually manifests the irritation through skin itchiness and as well as having itchy ears. Dogs are especially allergic to several food ingredients, wheat, or certain home cleaning products like pesticides. Now, one of the most important things you can do as an owner is observing how their bodies respond to certain products like that you may use around the house to be on the lookout for these types of allergies. Number four, bacterial or in fungal infection. Like humans, bacteria and fungi, they can grow in warm and damp places like a dog's ear which would result in an ear infection. Dogs who love to play in the water are more susceptible to this condition, especially when they love outdoor activities. One of the most common fungus that dogs can acquire, they already have on them, but it can turn into infection is yeast. Or on the other hand, staph is also one of the most common. Number five, parasites. An ear infection may also be due to certain parasites living in your dog's ear. For example, ear mites are one of the best examples of this. Ear mites infest your dogs through their ear canal now and they can be quite challenging to detect because of how small they are. However, one way to spot them is to find black spots inside your dog's ears and they're likely to be mites droppings. Number six, tumor or polyps. An ear tumor or polyp is a severe case of ear canal infection. It's due to the repeated irritation and infection in your dog's ears. Although this condition may vary for each dog, an ear tumor or a polyp may develop to ear hematoma if touched constantly. Now we're going to get into some of the homemade dog ear cleaning cleaners that are natural and safe. So number one, the most popular combination, this basic homemade ear cleaner will help stabilize the pH levels of your dog's ears while also cleaning them. It also may potentially fight off some bacteria, which reduces the chances of ear infections. What you'll need is an empty bottle, some white vinegar. We like natural brands like Lucy's, boric acid, isopropyl rubbing alcohol, and then povidone iodine. So basically betadine is the most popular. So what you'll do, pour four tablespoons of white vinegar into a resealable bottle and then you're going to add half a teaspoon of boric acid and then you're going to add three to four drops of rubbing alcohol and then three to four drops of povidone iodone or betadine and then the next step you'll seal the bottle and shake well until all the ingredients are thoroughly mixed a quick note it's povidone iodine is just a generic name for the famous brand betadine which is what most pet owners will use it has antiseptic properties that attack bacteria in dogs ears and it doesn't stink However, you don't have to add it to this homemade dog ear cleaner if you're concerned about red staining. The solution would probably work well without it. And then here's another solution. It's often supple solution. For a straightforward homemade dog ear cleaner that will leave your dog's ears soft, 
and supple and protected, you can use a glycerin mixture. What you'll need for this recipe is a small container, glycerin. We'll use a natural brand like uh, Noble Roots and then boric acid. And then what you'll do is you'll mix one tablespoon of glycerin with two tablespoons of boric acid. It's pretty simple that you can apply using cotton balls. The boric acid breaks up waxy buildup while reducing moisture and the possibility of an ear infection in the dog. The glycerin then coats and soothes the dog's skin to keep it from getting too dry. So number three is witch hazel combination. It's another variation of dog ear cleaner. Again, we're gonna be using vinegar and boric acid in this one as well. So what you'll need is white vinegar or apple cider vinegar. If you're gonna use, you know, apple cider vinegar, we recommend Bragg, pretty popular one. You'll see it in uh, grocery stores and then witch hazel and some boric acid. So what you'll do is you'll pour one fourth cup of water and one fourth cup of white vinegar or apple cider vinegar into a container. And then you'll add one tablespoon of witch hazel and then you'll add two tablespoons of boric acid. Then you'll shake it all up, mix it well. A quick note, just an, as an alternative to this, you can also mix two tablespoons of boric acid in a half cup of water and use that if you don't have the other ingredients. And then here's another option, number four. It's pretty mild, but effective. You're gonna be using vinegar and water. And then you can also use apple cider vinegar and water along with some rubbing alcohol. So what you'll need for this one is an empty bottle and then you'll need some apple cider vinegar and isopropyl rubbing alcohol. What you'll do is you'll pour four tablespoons of plain water into a resealable bottle. Then you'll add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and then you'll add three drops of isopropyl rubbing alcohol and then you'll seal the bottle and shake it up. Just note if the rubbing alcohol stings, even for a milder solution, leave out the rubbing alcohol altogether. The vinegar and water will still help clean a dog's ears and stabilize the pH levels. Number five is a ultra mild mild one and super simple. All you'll need is apple cider vinegar. It's typically an excellent solution, as you can tell, since we've suggested it in other ones, especially for dogs with floppy ears like basset hounds. So you'll just need apple cider vinegar as well as water. What you're going to do is you're going to mix two thirds cup of water and then one third cup of apple cider vinegar, and you'll mix it up. Number six is probably the easiest to make. You're going to be using hydrogen peroxide with some water. Hydrogen peroxide is another helpful solution against waxy buildup in a dog's ears. When the hydrogen peroxide starts working, it bubbles the dirt right up out of the dog's ear canal. It can tickle a dog's ear though, so be prepared for a lot of head shaking. Ingredients, just 3% hydrogen peroxide and water. What you're gonna do is you're going to mix two tablespoons of water with two tablespoons of the hydrogen peroxide. A quick note, you can also mix the hydrogen peroxide with a few of the other mentioned homemade dog ear cleaners. For example, two tablespoons of white vinegar mixed with two tablespoons of 3% hydrogen peroxide and a few drops of rubbing alcohol. This solution is also suitable for flushing dirt out of a dog's ears and cleaning the more visible parts. So a quick note on how to use these homemade dog ear cleaners. Not all dogs will require regular ear cleaning. Those typically with floppy ears like Cocker Spaniels or Basset Hounds will need to have their ears cleaned about once a week, while Pit Bulls or German Shepherds with ears that naturally stay drier can go longer between ear cleanings. Just make sure you want to at least keep the homemade dog ear cleaner at least to room temperature. It's super important that you do that and never use cotton swabs or Q-tips in your dog's ears. Instead, use cotton balls or a regular gauze wrapped around your finger to clean the pet's ears. You know, you just dip the cotton ball your gauze finger into the solution or squirt it on. Do not pour this solution directly into their ear. Also, we're going to be talking about the symptoms for potential ear infections. Head shaking or head tilting is a common practice among dogs to relieve the itch or pain in their ears. If you notice if your dog does this frequently, go ahead and check to see if there's something in them. Another symptom is pungent yellow or reddish yellow discharge. Now, when your dog typically has an ear infection, they will have some kind of unusual smell smell coming from their ear. It's usually yellow, but it also can be reddish brown sometimes. Another symptom is if your dog frequently scratches their ears. If your dog typically scratches and it's normal, just be on the lookout to see if it becomes more frequent than usual. Chances are they are suffering from an ear infection. If you find that they have an ear infection, just make sure they stop itching because not only bruise their ears, but irritate them further and can lead to severe complications. Another symptom is a lack of balance. The ears are known 
them to be a part of the body, just like for humans, uh, for maintaining balance. If there's something wrong with how your dog balances or moves throughout the day, it's possible there's infection by the inner ear. And then the last symptom is swelling or redness of the ear canal irritated ears and inflammation of the ear canals are another significant indication that there could be something wrong. Well, that's gonna wrap it up here for us Hop Dog Tips. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.